Finally, old things work. ये YouTube वगैरह ना, हाँ? हाँ YouTube से देख लो YouTube live कैसे करते हैं? Very right. Okay, अब हम start कर सकते हैं? अरे तू करो, कर दिया? भाई वही तो मैं तुमसे इतनी देर से पूछ रही हूँ रिकॉर्डिंग स्टार्ट हो गई पक्का चलो ठीक है ओके फाइन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आर क्लासेस यूट्यूब वाले देखते रहेंगे उनकी चिंता हमें करने की अभी इतनी जरूरत नहीं है ओके सो यस लास्ट टाइम व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड वी स्टार्टेड विद वेस्टर्न फिलोसफी एंड इन दिस फिलोसफी देयर वर फोर पार्ट्स व्हाट वर द फोर पार्ट्स मेटाफिजिक्स ये हमने देख लिया था हमें नहीं पढ़ने हमें क्या पढ़ना है मेटाफिजिक्स एंड एपिस्टेमोलॉजी एथिक्स एथिक्स इज आल्सो देयर एथिक्स तो हम लोग जीएस में पढ़ते हैं वी स्टडी एथिक्स इन आर जीएस सो मेटाफिजिक्स डील्स विद व्हाट क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस और रियलिटी व्हाट इज रियलिटी डज एनीथिंग एग्जिस्ट और नॉट व्हेनेवर वी आर स्टडीइंग दिस this is the and this is also known as ontology and epistemology is all about knowledge how do we know this reality if there is a reality there must be some means to know this and what are the means to know this reality is the is the means provided by senses sufficient or do we need to think if we need to think is our thinking right all of these we will contemplate ki agar hame sach pata chal bhi jaye to sach mein kaise pata chalega ki hum use sahi samajh rahe hain ya nahi samajh rahe hain to dono cheezon ko check karna zaruri hai pehla sach kya hai what is the truth what really exists and then how do we know it in simple terms first philosopher we started is plato and in plato we saw that he was really confused between two views in the starting first was the view of heraclitus what does heraclitus say that everything is changing and change is the only reality everything is changing and if everything is changing will there be any knowledge which is permanent what kind of knowledge will we get we will get knowledge based on experience fine and what kind of knowledge will it be it will it be a permanent knowledge or a temporary knowledge so according to heraclitus all knowledge is temporary all knowledge is temporary agar sari knowledge temporary hai if everything is temporary will you trust anything so it is like mujhe pata chala aap baithe ho temporary table hai temporary everything is temporary it's it's so difficult to live our life like this if everything is temporary another view was parmenides according to parmenides everything was permanent and everything was unchanging or non changing unchanging or non changing means nothing is changing according to him change is just an illusion only an appearance he points out you see man is there only people die but man as a species or humans as a species they continue single trees die but tree they are permanent is there any change in tree according to space or according to time tree the concept of tree remains permanent it remains unchanged concept of cow permanent table permanent so he says where is change there is nothing changing maybe if we go in past there would be another gurukul teacher but students what change only the faces are changing 
there would be another person with a different face there will be other students with different face nothing is changing everything according to parmenides is permanent so according to him the experiences we are having my name is tanu this is this table your name is shubham it does does this knowledge actually matter because you and me are actually temporary faces this table this particular table is temporary so when every everything what we are seeing is temporary this means it's an illusion things which need to be known is permanent now he is confused plato either things can be changing or things can be permanent he is also right there is a definite change and he parmenides is also right definitely there are there is a strict permanence in things he reconciles dono ke beech mein isne kya karwa diya compromise isne kaha tum bhi sahi keh rahe ho tum bhi sahi keh rahe ho tum kis baat ke liye sahi keh rahe ho world of experience ye kis baat ke liye sahi keh rahe ho world of ideas usne kaha there are two worlds world of experience and world of ideas where is this world of experience this world physical world agar hum iske characteristics likhna chahe world of experience will it be permanent or temporary temporary will it be mortal or immortal mortal mortal everything will things be destroyed and decayed decayed and destroyed will it be transient okay will it be perishable what are we writing just synonyms english we have to write english this is how we have to explain different ways of writing i will i will dictate everything don't worry what you have to write i will dictate everything will be dictated so this is the synonyms or description of this world and this world will be where in space and time can you see the space and definitely we are in time this is in space and time ab isi ke upar kya hai world of ideas ye temporary hai to ye kya ho gaya ye mortal hai to ye kya ho gaya decay and destroy hota hai to yahan pe eternal eternal means shashwat na aadi na ant something which never originates and never dies eternal hamesha hamesha ke liye eternal is it transient no it is not non transient is it perishable non perishable is it in space and time no it is not in space and time because the moment you put something in space and time it is bound to change because it will come in the influence of time and it will change so it is not in space and time then where is it where is it is it in our mind no according to plato no according to him there is a world which we can reach only through our reason it is not in our mind it has objective existence it is existing but because it is beyond space and time we cannot know it through senses example have you seen anything which was not in space and time through your eyes try imagine anything you have seen in your from your eyes or anything you have tasted which was not in space and time can you go beyond space and time through your senses you cannot go beyond space and time through your senses but can you go beyond space and time through your reason can you go how can you go tell me can you think about that lake in canada which is blue in color with a small boat can you think about it 
आप कैसे पहुंच गए बाय बाय विजुअलाइजेशन ओके नाउ दैट इज नॉट द मीनिंग ऑफ प्लेटो इमेजिनेशन क्या है वो हम देखेंगे इमेजिनेशन इज स्टिल इन दिस वर्ल्ड इट इज स्टिल इन स्पेस एंड टाइम वी कैन नॉट थिंक अबाउट इट स्पेस बियॉन्ड एनीथिंग विच इज बियॉन्ड स्पेस एंड टाइम वी कैन नॉट थिंक अबाउट इट वी कैन ओनली हैव अ रीजन ऑफ इट रीजन जैसे वन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू Where is this one? Have you seen one? You must have seen one table, one apple. You must have seen one paper. But have you seen one? But you know there is something which is one. Is one in space and time? Has the notion of one changed? from years will the notion of one change in next for 1500 years 2000 years to so, jo notion hai na one ka maths wo kahan pe hai beyond space and time you must have seen circular things or rectangle things this is a rectangular object another rectangular object where is rectangle rectangle as a concept it is beyond space and time and it is permanent harappan harappa se pehle bhi raha hoga but we know about harappan seals they were rectangular in shape nahi ab nahi chodo <laughs> can you understand that harappan seal what was the size of harappan seal ancient india nahi pada okay don't worry dimension ncert mein theek hai okay fine so the concept rectangle is not found in space and time it must be found somewhere jahan hamari senses se hum nahi pahunch sakte ab wo jo world hai wo kya hai world of ideas and it is existing according to plato it is existing something like heaven or swarg so log kehte hai na mare bina swarg nahi milta You have to die to go to swarg. Can you watch swarg sitting here through your eyes? Can you taste the food of swarg? So this means that we are bounded by our senses. These eyes, nose, are they the facilitator or the bounding foundations on your body? Foundations on your soul. They are the things that are bounding you. We are feeling we are very powerful, but we cannot go beyond our visual range eyes cannot go beyond our visual range there is a hearing range dogs have a different hearing range they can sense and hear things which we cannot this means we are very limited and we are limited and we are where in this world of experience all the concepts or ideas and even mathematical knowledge is found where world of ideas and how can we know we can know this world through senses i can see this table i can drink this water a uh, water i can uh, hear you this world's knowledge through senses this world's knowledge through reason reason and reason alone you cannot know it through senses there is no way you can know it through senses this means when you are in this world 
you can only have a rational insight about the other world and if if normal if a, if a normal person is there and you tell him ek aur duniya hai to wo kya kahega dikhao wo kahega nahi nahi dekh nahi sakte sunao sun bhi nahi sakte to taste kara do kuch nahi taste can i touch no you cannot touch it ye kya pagal bana raha hai kaise pata hame ek aur duniya hai through But can everybody employ reason? Only a person who has started thinking can apply it. A person who is busy sensing, वो तो sense से बाहर आ ही नहीं सकता. Only a person who has started to think that they can start to reason and can know about this other world. So this this dichotomy that Plato created is known as two world theory. Dichotomy means to dissect something into two. So he has dissected the world into two, two worlds: world of experience and world of ideas. And this is Plato's two world theory. What is two world theory? Simple. Yehi likhna hai. और डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन आता है वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई डाइकोटोमी ऑफ प्लेटो और वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई दी थ्योरी ऑफ टू वर्ल्ड बाई प्लेटो कमेंट डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन कैन यू एक्सप्लेन अ लिटल बिट नाउ हैव यू अंडरस्टैंड ओके Hmm. But all of this is in this experiential world. But still, that is now the water is now doesn't exist. Uh, but we are just experiencing. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever your senses can know is in this world. If you can touch, taste, hear, anything, this is in this world. and anything which you can only think about lies in the world of ideas example you can see circular objects can you see circularity pure circularity example again you can see cow Can you see cowness? But जैसे ही मैंने cowness बोला you understood what I am talking about? How? देखो अब तुम्हारा दिमाग है ना तुम्हें अब तुम्हारा दिमाग तुम अपने दिमाग को समझना start करोगे. Psychology is also a branch of philosophy. The moment I said cowness, how could you understand? so you got so you saw you have seen many cows and you thought there must be some essential components which must be in a cow and then your mind created a kind of a essential uh, characteristics of that animal which must be known with the name cow ye socrates ne bola ki hamara dimag cowness banata hai lekin agar hamara cow dimag cowness banata hai then this cowness must be different for different people but is it different for different people cowness is same for so many people all of the people so there must be it must not be something which is created by just our mind according to plato ye main nahi keh rahi hu ye kaun keh raha hai plato to jab hum plato padhenge to hum plato jaise hi baatein karenge we will become plato and we have to understand him through his theory 
ऑफकोर्स जैसे ही हम एरिस्टोटल पढ़ेंगे तुरंत हम प्लेटो की बुराइया करेंगे है ना वी विल क्रिटिसाइज वी विल डिमोलिश हिस्स थ्योरी ऑफ आइडियाज वी विल डिमोलिश दिस टू तो इसमें बहुत ज्यादा एकदम इमोशनल नहीं हो जाना हाँ फिलोसफी में किसी भी फिलोसफर की फिलोसफी के साथ यू डोंट हैव टू मेक अटैचमेंट्स डोंट बिकम टू इमोशनल अबाउट इट यू नो सम स्टूडेंट्स मेक दिस मिस्टेक व्हेन दे विल यू नो हियर प्लेटो दे विल बी लाइक सही कह रहा है दिस इज इट एंड व्हेन वी विल स्टार्ट एरिस्टोटल के अरे यार मैम अभी तो आपने बताया था ऐसा होता है कि प्लेटो ने कहा था कि दो वर्ल्ड होते हैं अरिस्टोटल के कोई वर्ल्ड दो कैसे हो सकते हैं एक ही वर्ल्ड है so we have to understand for that philosopher we don't have to make attachments and when we move on to the next philosopher we will criticize plato and then we will understand aristotle and then we will also criticize aristotle then we will read descartes then we will criticize descartes also we will criticize everybody every philosopher we will read we will also criticize I told you. Is there any final answer to philosophy? It is always in the form of discussion. It is always in the form of discussion, and that's the beauty of the answers. You don't have to apply too much mind. You just have to talk about Plato. Ne ye ye ka. Aristotle ne aise aise burai kari. Aur ant me Plato ki theory ne bada impact create kia. Khatam. Ye hi answer hai. किसी का भी उठा के देख लो टॉपर्स कॉपी भी उठा के देख लो और कोई तरीका ही नहीं देर इज नो अदर वे टू राइट आंसर्स, बिकॉज़ यू डोंट हैव टू इंक्लूड एनीथिंग फ्रॉम योर ओन साइड यू आर जस्ट डिस्कसिंग व्हाट प्लेटो सेड एंड नाउ हाउ सो एवर वी ट्राई वी कैन नॉट मेक प्लेटो लाइव वी कैन नॉट मेक हिम करेक्ट हिज स्टैंड वट एवर ही there is no change in what plato has said now we can only evaluate plato how much of his theory was okay and how much of his theory was not right according to another philosopher don't become philosophers yourself ये सोक्रेटिस बोलेगा अभी करेंगे हम सोक्रेटिस का भी एक छोटा सा पोर्शन करेंगे एरिस्टोटल बोलेगा ऑल द डाउट यू आर हैविंग आर एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट वट एवर यूर डाउट आर हैविंग इफ यू फील दैट यस मैम काउनेस इज देयर But we can know cowness only through cow. Absolutely correct. Aristotle will say this. Correct. And if you are saying that cowness, of course it is in our mind only. Correct. Who will say it? Socrates. So when we will criticize, we will also write this point. All your doubts are correct. The next philosopher will. address them and confirm them and you will have to write your doubts only simple okay so let us write a little bit to concretize give first heading western philosophy and why are we writing yes very important are there any smart people who think they should not write printed notes are already given why to you know strain your hand ha this smartness will cost you your selection problem is this how so ever good typing we have we have to write in our examination i really want them to switch on to typing because your mobile typing speeds are very good i know that but problem is we have to write first we will understand the concept this means we have a audio visual communication of the content 
first i also repeat things so this means audio visual revision number 2 then if you repeat after me certain concepts that will be revision number 3 then when i dictate then audio plus your mind processes it and then you write it another mode and when you write how many of you have uh, done this you know a spelling but when you write it you write it wrong and especially when you write it very fast you know this happens and this happens to everybody because this is not how our mind works we have to learn before learning that how to learn effectively one of the very effective technique is when i will dictate your mind is subtly processing it and your hand communication with your mind is developing so when you will first time write metaphysics you will write meta physics hai na it will be slow some of you might even make mistake when next time you will write epistemology mistake ho sakti hai i am not saying you will make it but ho sakti hai but if supposedly you have written this term 10 times then will you write metaphysics or you will write metaphysics this is the speed that develops over time that is why in initial classes at least we will continue with the traditional thing of dictation after this dictation if you go back and read cycle complete will you forget this easily and try to learn in class and just give one reading back at home at least one that's sufficient but try to learn in class don't sit like this pata pata nahi padha to rahe kuch ghar ja ke ek bar dobara video dekh lenge you know actually many of you have become into this cycle of you know uh dobara dekh lenge this dobara dekh lenge is very toxic as a teacher i am telling you or not as a teacher rather you know as a friend i am telling you it is killing your time howsoever important but your time energy and effort are limited don't waste it if you have done one class this means you should learn it here and now at most you should go back and revise it once and then revise it again after one week write answers see if you can write it then revise it again after 15 days things you will never forget make a chart we made a chart how many type uh, revisions we at least require make that chart put it on your table put tikka tikka you know that gives confidence also so dictation means you have to write and another thing speed you know when you will start how many of you have ever written an answer of upsc gs 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 how much time did you take uh, this is the time you require how much time did you take 10 minutes 15 minutes there are people you know if i'll ask you to write you will take half an hour many of you will take 20 minutes why because your speed is very slow very very slow and you have to write your mains answer in 7 minutes or rather to be precise 6.8 minutes for 10 marks this is it 6.8 minutes or 7 minutes per 10 marks simple maths ek din baithenge fir bata dungi kaise aaya hai hum is is figure pe and for that you need speed and you i am very sure you won't be practicing much over speed and in my class i will make you because i don't want unselected students with me and i don't want you people to not get selected just because you could not finish your paper you know you could not remember things no silly mistakes not done matlab padha hi nahi wo baat alag hai lekin agar padha hai to select 
होना है एंड दिस स्पीड वी विल इंक्रीज इन क्लास हाउ आई विल स्पीक फास्ट सो यू विल हैव टू राइट फास्ट यू विल हैव टू कैच अप एंड इफ यू स्कीप सम थिंग्स विल आई रिपीट I won't repeat. This means you will have to make friends. Copy करना पड़ेगा ना नहीं copy करना पड़ेगा अभी तो तुम लोगों को लग रहा है we will write fast. मैं जितना तेज बोलती हूँ उसको catch up करने के लिए क्योंकि मुझे आपको किस speed पे लेके जाना है इस speed पे तो उतनी speed के लिए बीच में छूटेगा कोई बात नहीं Class के बाद लिखना दो चार लोगों से कॉपी मांगनी पड़ेगी ना इफ यू हैव टू आस्क योर कॉपी फ्रॉम समबडी एल्स टू कॉपी सो योर ईगो विल गेट हर्ट नेक्स्ट टाइम यू विल राइट फास्ट सो वी विल वी विल कंटिन्यू दिस साइकिल ऑफ हर्टिंग योर ईगोज टिल द टाइम यू एक्चुअली कैच अप टू द स्पीड सो दैट यू कैन फिनिश योर पेपर इन टाइम ओके फाइन सो नो स्मार्ट पीपल इन माई क्लास Uh, smart people in my class no over smart people in my class okay right western philosophy philosophy means philosophy means love of wisdom philosophy means love of wisdom and philosopher means and philosopher means someone who seeks philosopher means someone who seeks wisdom or knowledge full stop philosophy has five major branches philosophy has five major branches first metaphysics first metaphysics it is the theory of reality it is the theory of reality second epistemology it is the theory of knowledge it is the theory of knowledge third ethics it is the analysis of your actions it is the analysis of your actions right or wrong bracket me likhe right or wrong and also and also prescribes and also prescribes what needs to be done and also prescribes what needs to be done फोर्थ लॉजिक जिनका छूट रहा है वो क्या करेंगे स्पेस छोड़ेंगे और बाद में कॉपी करेंगे किस किस का छूट रहा है हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू कुड नॉट राइट इट शुड आई स्लो डाउन और आई शुड रिमेन एट माई पेस अभी मैं धीरे इसलिए बोल रही हूँ कि तुम लोग एकदम हाँ वो ना हो जाओ ओके लॉजिक इट हैज बोथ इंडक हाथ दुखने छह घंटे लिखना है मेन्स के एग्जाम में एक दिन में पता है ना हाउ मेनी आर्स यू हैव टू राइट इन मेन्स सिक्स आर्स सो दिस मीन्स योर हैंड शुड बी एबल टू स्ट्रेस at least take a stress of 7 to 8 hours you know and do you write like this in your exam mains exam aram se sun sun ke it is a war it's a mission mode hai na so no no problem haat dukhe to koi baat nahi yahan pe lal padhna chahiye yahan pe bhi lal padhna chahiye okay fine logic it is both inductive and deductive logic both inductive and deductive logic aesthetics 
it is the it is the science of beauty it is the science of beauty next heading metaphysics it is the branch of philosophy that deals with the reality it is the branch of philosophy that deals with the reality and generally concerns itself with and generally concerns itself with god comma soul comma matter generally concerns itself with god comma soul comma matter comma substances etc comma substances etc next line there are various classifications there are various classifications first on the basis of alternate on the basis of alternate realities ya fir on the basis of number of realities on the basis of number of realities agar ek hi reality hogi if there is only one reality it will be known as monism if there will be two realities dualism if many realities pluralism simple you want me to dictate you under monism only one cause behind the origin of universe under monism you write only one cause behind the origin of universe or one god or one god example spinoza you just write this name this is a uh, he is a philosopher we will study later dualism when there are two ultimate causes of the world when there are two ultimate causes of the world example descartes example descartes he we will also study descartes in later classes pluralism when realities are many when realities are many example lebnis next point second point it within metaphysics on the basis of ultimate reality on the basis of ultimate reality what is the nature first is materialism and second is spiritualism materialism means matter is the only reality accepted by science accepted by science according to science what is friendship or love what is love according to science ha huh? what is love according to science hormonal changes okay anything else how does science explains love on the basis of matter there are certain parts of brain which become activated when certain neurotransmitters are provided there 
and then there is a chain of chemical reactions more neurotransmitters develop and a person feels love actually so how does science explains love friendship sacrifice on the basis of matter there is no soul according to science science doesn't believe in the concept of soul so can we say science believes in the nature of reality to be matter only and which is materialism simple and there are other philosophical systems which do not accept matter which accept only soul or spirit to be the only reality and according to them the reality is spiritualism this side we will learn specifically in indian philosophy when we will study vedant and specifically shankaracharya it, it is it's a lovely philosophy half of the students become shankarite after it and then they actually defend shankar like anything and if you criticize shankar in class you always have to face as a teacher i always have to face a kind of a uh, facial expressions from students shankar ki burai kar de shankar ki kaun burai kar sakta hai aise wala matlab you know they 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 have this emotional revolt ke shankar acharya ki burai kar di abhi lag raha hoga na ye kya baat hai kya baat hai uske baad shankar padho uske baad aa jayega maza okay i right materialism means existence is material in nature under materialism you can write materialism means existence is material in nature spiritualism when you accept when you accept spirit or soul or consciousness spirit or soul or consciousness as the ultimate reality as the ultimate reality next heading epistemology next heading epistemology no 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 we will have evidences for that also not far just let us come to uh, spinoza and lebnis specifically you know lebnis were a scientist so all these philosophers in western philosophy we will be studying these people are not any random people these are great scientists of western world and we are studying their world view so like how many of you have uh, known about calculus you know calculus the advanced mathematics who invented it leibniz he was in fight with newton over this who invented calculus and even plato the concepts of democracy and even natural sciences medicine all of these people have done lot of researches so when you start reading these philosophers you will realize they are very close to the science and they are hitting on the point where science cannot answer they continuously put on a point where science is speechless that is why the, the these theories are still existing had they been completely refuted by the science why would we read them again they would have been put up into histor history history ki book mein aa jate fir ye we are reading because definitely whatever they are saying has not been completely refuted by we are understanding that alternate so it is like all the sci-fi you see they have their origin in any of the philosophy how many of you have seen matrix 
शंकराचार्य फिलोसफी शंकराचार्य फिलोसफी लॉर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ साइफाइज यू सी अल्टरनेट रियालिटी पैरल वर्ल्ड ब्लैक होल कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज ऑल ऑफ दीज हैव समवेयर और द अदर द इमेजिनेशन दैट गोज इज बींग टेकन फ्रॉम वन और द अदर फिलोसफीज यू हैव टू हैव अ वेरी ब्रॉड माइंड एंड अ क्रिएटिव इमेजिनेटिव माइंड टू अंडरस्टैंड बट दीज पीपल्स आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके एपिस्टेमोलॉजी इट इज द स्टडी ऑफ नॉलेज इट इज द स्टडी ऑफ नॉलेज एंड इट्स वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स इट इज द स्टडी ऑफ नॉलेज एंड इट्स वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स The question asked are what are the sources of valid knowledge what are the questions asked in epistemology are what are the sources of valid knowledge what are the sources of valid knowledge what is the limit to valid knowledge what is the limit to valid knowledge comma types of valid knowledge types of valid knowledge next relationship between object and knowledge relationship between object and knowledge next paragraph In Western philosophy, there are two major sources of valid knowledge. In Western philosophy, there are two major sources of valid knowledge. First is experience. Dash dal ke likhe. it is the knowledge gained through senses it is the knowledge gained through senses comma it is acceptable by science it is acceptable by science comma this knowledge is changeable probable if this knowledge is changeable probable and temporary this knowledge is changeable probable and temporary so today i told you that this coffee tastes very nice and it will have a good effect on my body this is a knowledge of this world based on experience is it permanent will this knowledge change after 7 days how will this coffee be tasting good after 7 days if kept like this there will be fungus will it nourish my body so what kind of knowledge is it temporary changeable and probable probably if i say peanuts are good for health peanuts means muesli so good for health is it a knowledge based on reason or experience if you are non allergic to peanuts good if you are allergic to peanuts so meri statement to galat ho gayi नॉलेज गलत हो जाएगी तो नॉलेज कैसी है प्रॉबेबल चेंजेबल टेक एनीथिंग दिस टेबल इज स्ट्रॉन्ग दिस टेबल इज स्ट्रॉन्ग फॉर नाउ इट इज राइट हंड्रेड इयर्स दिस टेबल विल बी रिड्यूस टू डस्ट मे बी इन फिफ्टी इयर्स ओनली सो does this knowledge that i am telling you you are gaining through experience is it permanent no it is very temporary very very changeable okay next another source is reason
it is the now it is the knowledge it is the knowledge gained through thinking and rational insight it is the knowledge gained through thinking and rational insight the knowledge gained is universal the knowledge gained is universal comma certain comma unchangeable comma necessary example example maths example maths इंडिया में है सर अफ्रीका में यूएस अफगानिस्तान ब्रिटिशर्स के टाइम पे हड़प्पा के टाइम पे फ्यूचर टेक्नोलॉजीज एआई के टाइम पे इट इज नॉट चेंजिंग कैन वी से दिस इज यूनिवर्सल कैन वी से कैन वी से इट इज सर्टेन कोई डाउट can we say it is unchangeable it's not changing can we say it is necessary necessarily 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 so this knowledge is gained through this is the knowledge which doesn't change it is permanent in nature okay next heading difference between western and indian philosophy difference between western and indian philosophy first bar bar indian philosophy pura likhenge kya exam mein pura likhenge yes indian philosophy is a way of life indian philosophy is a way of life while western philosophy is while western philosophy is majorly about satisfying curiosity western philosophy is majorly about satisfying curiosity about the world satisfying curiosity about the world second indian philosophy has developed parallelly indian philosophy has developed parallelly while western philosophy has developed vertically western philosophy has developed vertically third indian philosophy aims to remove suffering indian philosophy aims to remove suffering while western philosophy aims to know the world western philosophy aims to know the world next indian philosophy saw the emergence of large schools indian philosophy saw the emergence of large schools with many disciples with many disciples which continued over generations which continued over generations full stop western philosophy we find only individual philosophers in western philosophy we find only individual philosophers following certain trends following certain trends next point indian philosophy okay 
Indian philosophy is found associated with religion. Indian philosophy is found associated with religion, while Western philosophy is generally not associated with religion and if and if association is found generally not found any association but if association is found then it is with then it is with Christianity then it is with Christianity कल की क्लास में ना हम लोग क्वेश्चन देखेंगे पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन तो अगर ये क्वेश्चन आ जाए डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन इंडियन फिलोसफी एंड वेस्टर्न फिलोसफी कैन यू राइट इट किसी को किसी डिफरेंस में कोई डाउट Time period is different. Of course, you can write the time period also, but their nature is very different. The nature you can find, we will find lot of overlapping in certain concepts, but it's not the same. Just as howsoever we try to westernize ourselves, the core of Indian emotions is very different. So, Our Indian, our philosophy is very different. अभी हम पढ़ेंगे ना Indian philosophy, you will, you will, you will realize. First we will complete our Western, and when we will go to Indian, you will realize the orientation is a little different. Of course, there is overlapping concepts, but very different in their approach. Oh, that's historical. That's not philosophy, you know. That's that's a historical difference we can say, but we should not write it in philosophy. Okay. Next heading, Plato. Next heading, Plato. We will always make a structure for all our philosophers so that we can follow the structure in our answers. The same structure we make here, you have to follow in your answers nearly. मतलब अब बहुत ही specific area पे question आ जाएगा, तो तो नहीं करेंगे हम, है ना? Then we won't do it, but we want, we will try to follow that structure in our answers. Because if your structure is clear, you get good marks. Very simple. Make a chart like this in your copies. First. Introduction, second, background, third, theory of ideas, third, theory of ideas, fourth, proofs, fifth, theory of knowledge, theory of knowledge ko aur kya bolte hai, what do you also say? शार्प किड्स दूसरी क्लास में एपिस्टेमोलॉजी तक पहुंच गए सिक्स थ्योरी ऑफ डिवाइडेड लाइंस थ्योरी ऑफ डिवाइडेड लाइंस सेवेंथ क्रिटिसिज्म बाय एरिस्टोटल एथ एथ एस्टिमेट Eighth is estimate. Estimate means estimate of what he did. In this theory of ideas, you can also include cave theory or analogy of cave. Analogy of cave. This is the structure we will follow for Plato. 
introduction plato was a greek philosopher plato was a greek philosopher in bracket right Four twenty-seven to three forty-seven BC. BC AD. ये सब पता है ना? He was the disciple of Socrates. He was the disciple of Socrates and teacher of. Aristotle and teacher of Aristotle. Second point, he was the idealist rational philosopher. He was the idealist rational philosopher who was also a theatre artist, who was also a theatre artist and poet at heart and poet at heart therefore therefore he has taken help of therefore he has taken help of various metaphors therefore he has taken help of various metaphors to explain his theory to explain his theory Why is it important to know that he was also a poet and a theatre artist? Ah, because he has used various metaphors. What are metaphors? Similes, atishokti, alankar, alankaro mein baate karna, hai na? What is alankar? So normal person will say, when when a boy will meet a girl, normal boy will say, you are very beautiful. What will Plato say? She is a rose. You are as beautiful as the moon shines. You glow like sun. Your eyes are like petals of rose. You do. You, can you understand the kind of language Plato has used? So when a when a person uses such a language, how difficult it is to decode his theory and make sense. And a realistic person like me will always say, yeah, you are comparing me to moon. And a moon is what? A dusty, dusty ball of land, you know, matter, isn't it? What is moon? A dusty ball of land mass with lot of craters. But, but people who like poetry, unke liye moon kya hai? Symbol, symbol of uh, beauty. So, isiliye, when we read uh, Plato, sometimes it becomes difficult to understand ki bhai kehna kya chaate ho. Hai na? Ki sundar hai, nahi sundar hai, kya kehna chaate ho. So, there are a little areas in his philosophy and theories where he has used certain metaphors. We will see later on. When he says that ideas are the molds and things are the copies of these molds. So now you are saying that there is a humanness which is in the shape of mold which is making copies like humans. Then why is it, why is there a lot of difference between humans? Some are having faces like this, different heights. So your mold is not correct. Isn't it? But he has used these metaphors. Copy theory. This is known as copy theory of Plato. In which he has compared idea to a mold. And things to a copies. Now he could not properly explain how this you know copy and mold is working. How things are coming out of these ideas. He is not properly able to explain. Then he goes, no, 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 no. Then he gives participation theory. Then he says, 
that individual things participate in the idea. So, idea is complete, perfect. Idea is perfect. And then there are many cows or humans who participate in their ideas. So, a cow is more perfect when they more closely overlap or participate in cowness. Perfect cow, very sundar cow. Kaan ek dam. Agar bahut sara dood bhi de rahi hai, very strong bhi hai, ye bhi hai, wo bhi. More participation in the concept of cowness. Bikar si cow, less participation. But indeed, every cow must participate in because without cowness, no animal can be called a. So there must be some participation. More the participation means more perfect. So in humans also, there will be humans who will be participating more in humanness. They will be more perfect humans. Less participation will mean less human. Less humanness, less perfect form. And that will be reflected in both physical form as well as mental form. But can a so like how do you define this participation? So it's like different cows are participating separately or together. He's not able to explain. Is this does this mean that? A cow is participating in cowness, but when a something participate, then it should be, uh, what do you say? Kuch dono ke bich mein similarities honi chahiye. Ab kitna participation hoga, kis cheez pe depend karega? Similarities pe. Lekin cowness to apne aap ke indar completely honi chahiye na, har cow mein. Aur agar har cow mein cowness hai. If every cow is having its own cowness, then how many cowness are there? Infinite cowness. Then does it remain an idea? And where are cows living? In this world. So if you say cowness is in the cow, then cowness remains in this world. Then it will also become changeable. Then it will also become changeable. So he is not able to explain expression theory also. Now a participation theory he is not able to explain. Then he gives another theory which is expression theory. He says no, no, no. I am saying that ideas are perfect and they express themselves as things which are imperfect. So perfect is sunlight. And it gets reflected in moonlight. How many of you know that moon doesn't have a light of its own? You all know? How does moonlight originate? So sun has its own light. Moon doesn't have its own light. When sunlight gets reflected through moon, the moon appears to be shining. Moon doesn't have its own light. Similarly, according to Plato, the perfectness and the essence is found in idea and it gets reflected only in things. This means things are only what? Shadows. Things are just like shadow. Real person is me and my shadow gets reflected here. Shadow is not real. और किसी को अगर मैं नहीं दिखाई दे रही हूँ सिर्फ shadow दिखाई दे रहा है और उसको पता ही नहीं है कि मैं मतलब ऐसे इंसान होते भी हैं उसको सिर्फ shadows shadows दिखाओ। If that person is shown only shadows, will he believe that shadows are real? If there is a child born who has never been shown any person, and that child is only shown shadows. Will that child believe that shadows are the only reality? Like, according to Plato, we believe that things are the only reality. Because we cannot sense ideas. 
therefore we believe that things are the only reality when we see table we see table only it is when we start thinking with our reason that we realize that there is a table ness until we think we never reach this until we think we never reach this so he has given this expression theory can you understand expression theory hum dobara karenge copy theory participation theory expression theory dobara karenge ye to maine aapko glimpse isliye diya hai so that when we write these simple things it doesn't remain alien it doesn't feel kis bare mein baat ho rahi hai ek aur basic understanding lete hain according to plato there are souls and where do these souls live in the world of and in this world of ideas these souls are pure with infinite knowledge they are pure pristine with infinite knowledge and infinite power this means souls are absolutely perfect these souls are absolutely perfect soul matlab atma so all the souls are living where initially in the world of ideas and they were perfect they were having all the knowledge they were having all the power but then how did they descend to the world of experience according to him these certain souls certain souls started having desires like lust like lust and greed they wanted to know the sensual world they wanted to know what does ice cream taste like they wanted to know even that soul wanted to go to venice or to australia according to plato not exactly australia but they wanted to know this empirical world and because they had these desires they suddenly wanted to come to this experiential world and with this desire the souls descended dropped ab jaise hi unke andar desire aayi desire aane se unke andar ki jo purity thi wo chali gayi which person is more pure the one with lot of desires or one with less desires less desires because the person who has less desires is more pure simple so as they started desiring the souls became less pure and they fell to the world of experience and when they fell to the world of experience they became bounded by bodies bodies having five senses now they became bonded and they could only experience things through five senses can you see anything except what your eyes show you can you hear anything except what your ears are making you sense can you taste anything except by your tongue so this means we have been made limited by our senses we have been made limited by our body so body is making us limited and our souls were pure eternal perfect but when we came to this world our souls became limited bounded and the once once we were bounded the knowledge which was infinite we forgot it is it's in our mind according to plato it is in our mind but we have forgotten it why because in this small body in this limited body you cannot have infinite knowledge you were very powerful but because of limited body and now when you are a person here your body limits your 
soul. Soul which was initially infinite, eternal, perfect, it has been bounded by and now this soul is shown things by body through senses and when the soul sees cow, when the soul or when the body shows cow, the soul is automatically reminded of Soul has already the knowledge of cowness. We all have the knowledge of cowness. We all have the knowledge of beauty. We all have the knowledge of justice. The concept of beauty, justice, circularity, tableness. Manness, catness, dogness is already present in our mind. But when we are shown a thing, we get reminded. We are shown a thing, we get reminded. And what is our purpose of life? To regain the to regain all of this infinite knowledge, vapise knowledge chahiye hame. And when we will gain this knowledge back, what will happen to soul? We'll go back to the world of ideas. So, what is the purpose of human life? To gain more and more knowledge. Is it the knowledge of things? It is the knowledge of ideas and as we gain more and more knowledge about ideas, we become purer and purer, our soul becomes purer and purer and once we leave our desires, lust, greed, violence, all of these things we leave, our soul becomes lighter and then goes back to its world of ideas. So, kahan se aaye, kahan pe gaye? Samaj mein aaya? So, initially, sari souls kahan thi? World of ideas. What was the nature of all these souls which were there in world of ideas? Pure, perfect, having infinite knowledge and infinite power. Then why suddenly did they come down? Because of desires. They started having this desire for sensual pleasures. They wanted to sense the world. And because of those desires, they were pulled down in this world of experience. And the moment they come down in the world of experience, they become bounded by their body, which is in space and time. And there are these only five gates through which they can know this world. Only five gates. Five gates means five senses. And only through five senses they can know what is happening in the world. And but these five senses are very limited. They only show things. They only give knowledge which is changeable. They only give knowledge which is probable. And with this changeable knowledge they become Ignorant, they keep doing the same things. They keep repeating the same things. Till the time they start evaluating and thinking that behind this table, there must be a tableness. Behind beautiful things, there must be a concept of beauty. And when they start thinking about not beautiful things, but what exactly is beauty? What exactly is beauty? And they discuss about it. They try to know what is beauty in itself. Then they start actually thinking about world of ideas. And the more ideas they know, the more ideas they know, the less desires they will have. The less desires they will have, purer they will become. And they will go back to their own world 
which is the world of idea. कहानी समझ में आई वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ आर लाइफ समझ में आया अकॉर्डिंग टू प्लेट दिस थिंग हैज नेवर बीन एक्सप्लेन बाय एनी फिलोसोफर इंडियन और द क्वेश्चन दैट वाई डिड दे हैव द डिजायर एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस नेवर एक्सप्लेन Not explain. What sort of mechanism happens in the same person and in soul? That we will start dealing with in Descartes. Plato has not talked about it. Plato has not exactly talked about it. He has given a story to understand, you know, to make it an poet. है ना? He gave a poetic expression. There is a chariot with wings and. The chariot is run by one black horse and one white horse. White horse means knowledge, and black horse means desires. We are we are run by both knowledge and desires, and many times we allow knowledge to take precedence. This means we are working through our rational being. Rational being like we know that this is the right time to study. We should study. and if you sit down and study you are making the white horse run the chariot it will it is a balanced horse who will go take you to the direction but there is another horse uncontrollable which is the black horse or the bad horse now this horse wants to destabilize the chariot and this horse repre is represented by emotions desires feelings so you said padhne se selection hoga suddenly this black horse will say are yaar roz hi padhte hain 2 ghante agar netflix dekh bhi liya to kya hoga hai na now this horse is talking to you and suddenly ke man nahi kar raha chhodo yaar bina man ke to padhai bhi nahi hoti hai na and then you suddenly sit and watch movie or do whatever so this according to plato is having we have both the horses running us this good horse and bad horse it is us who will decide if you let your chariot run by the bad horse what will happen you will keep coming and going back within this world of experience only isi mein chalte rahenge you will die take birth again again do the same mistakes take birth again till the time you let your horse run by knowledge knowledge means world of ideas you start thinking about the real things not particular things but real things those according to plato are ideas and only through them that you will gain liberation liberation or your initial place in the world of ideas theek hai so soul according to plato is mortal or immortal immortal fine let us write third point according to plato souls are immortal according to plato souls are immortal and possess innate knowledge immortal and possess innate knowledge innate knowledge means already present innate knowledge in their existence already possess innate knowledge in their existence as pristine souls or pure souls pristine means nasargic something which is very pure untouched 
pristine or pure souls in a transcendental world. Pure souls in a transcendental world. Four. These souls are perfect. These souls are perfect with infinite knowledge. These souls are perfect with infinite knowledge. But, but, when these souls become influenced by the, but when these souls become influenced by the desires, desires and the sensual pleasures, when these souls become influenced by the desires and sensual pleasures, they descend to the world of experience. They descend to the world of experience. And, and here souls are bound. And here souls are bound by the limitations of body and senses. By the limitations of body and senses. Limitation of body and senses. Next point. When the souls are, when the souls are in transcendental world, they possess all the knowledge. When the souls are in transcendental world, they hold all the knowledge. But, but, this knowledge gets dimmed. This knowledge gets dimmed. Dim matlab? Halka hona. Dimmed. Or forgotten. This knowledge gets dimmed or forgotten when they come to empirical world when they come to empirical world full stop therefore a child therefore a child initially cannot recognize therefore a child initially cannot recognize various things various things but but through our through our experience but through our experience we are reminded of but through our experience we are reminded of of the ideas we are reminded of the ideas or the initial knowledge or the initial knowledge initial knowledge example when we see a cow we are reminded of we are reminded of the idea of cowness we are reminded of the idea of cowness Full stop. According to Plato, according to Plato, learning. नहीं नहीं continue इस इसी का लिख लो. According to Plato, learning is a process. All learning is a process of. According to Plato, all learning is a process of recollection. All learning is a process of recollection. And proper form of education is not teaching. And proper form of education is not teaching. But to bring out. But to bring out the knowledge. To bring out the knowledge. Which the student. Which the student already possess which the student already possess.
for this he uses dialectic approach for this he uh, uses dialectic approach तो अब नॉलेज तो सारी है ही है सोल के पास ऑलरेडी जब हम पैदा हुए हमारे पास सारी नॉलेज थी वी ऑलरेडी हैव ऑल द नॉलेज बट वी हैव फॉरगॉटन एंड नाउ वेन एवर वी सी अ थिंग वी गेट रिमाइंडेड ऑफ द नॉलेज आल्सो सो ऑल लर्निंग इज एक्चुअली अ रिकलेक्शन आर वी लर्निंग समथिंग न्यू वी आर ओनली रिकलेक्टिंग विच वी ऑलरेडी नो और विच वी हैव forgotten we are just recollecting that and should one be teaching according to plato we already know things we just have to reason it reason it means arguments we should we have to talk and discuss example agar hum baat kare jaise agar aap ab aap mat baat karo apni dadi se baat karo है ना दादी से बात करो कि दादी हु मेड दिस वर्ल्ड गॉड है ना व्हेन गॉड मेड दिस वर्ल्ड देन व्हाई डिड ही मेक बैड पीपल व्हाई डिड ही मेक बैड पीपल देयर इज कर्मा थ्योरी सो बट गॉड इज ऑलरेडी नोइंग दैट सम पीपल विल डू बैड कर्मा then why did he allow them to do it why did he make such bad karmas because bad karmas are also made by god then why did he allow that to know the value of good so this means good is dependent on bad so actually what you are doing you are just posing the questions to get some information out of your student or dadi hai na example another example you want selection okay what is required for selection studying ha huh? hard work consistency how do you maintain consistency how do you maintain consistency studying every day how do you ensure that you study every day discipline how do you ensure discipline making a schedule how do you make a schedule by deciding what to do or what not did i tell you anything of this who told me you only only told me the strategy of being consistent and how to get selected i i didn't tell you anything you already know so if i pose the right questions the things will come out of you so this is what plato's method was that he used to pose the right questions which will incite the person to reflect think reason and get to the answer themselves that is why plato says that we all have all the knowledge it is just that we have forgotten and we must put ourselves to right questions to get reminded of this knowledge and this method is known as dialectic method or socrates method this was also used by his teacher socrates method maine nahi bilkul bhi nahi kisne bola ye plato ha ha jo bhi आरोप प्रत्यारोप है वो किस पे जाएंगे प्लेटो पे हाँ हाँ अब बताओ प्लेटो ने क्या बोला वी ऑलरेडी पोजेस ऑल दी नॉलेज
मतलब अच्छा मतलब मेर से सवाल पूछ सकते हैं प्लेटो से नहीं पूछ सकते ये ये क्या ये क्या बात हुई ये तो गलत बात है सो ओके लेट अस राइट लेट्स लेट्स राइट अ स्मॉल नोट अबाउट डायलेक्टिक मेथड राइट नोट इन डायलेक्टिक मेथड ऑल द फॉल्स ओपिनियंस ऑफ अ पर्सन इन डायलेक्टिक मेथड ऑल द फॉल्स ओपिनियंस ऑफ अ पर्सन गेट्स एक्सपोज्ड all the false opinion of the person gets exposed by the right question by the right question and as the person realizes and as the person realizes inadequacy of their former opinion and as the person realizes inadequacy of their former opinion they naturally they naturally arrive at they naturally arrive at satisfactory conclusion they naturally arrive at satisfactory conclusion within this only next point in a sense we can say that in a sense we can say that knowledge moves from knowledge moves from particular to universal moves from particular to universal so that so that they know so that they know the form or truth itself so that they know the form or truth itself नो द फॉर्म फॉर्म मतलब जो यूनिवर्सल है ना काउन एस उसको फॉर्म भी कहते हैं फॉर्म एंड ट्रुथ इट सेल्फ देखो जितना डिफिकल्ट पोर्शन था अब खत्म हो गया अब है सारा इंटरेस्टिंग पोर्शन अभी तक लगा क्या डिफिकल्ट अभी तक इंटरेस्टिंग था चलो फिर आगे तो फिर वो और भी मजेदार है ठीक है नेक्स्ट हेडिंग थ्योरी ऑफ आइडियाज थ्योरी ऑफ आइडियाज आइडियाज आर आल्सो नोन एज यूनिवर्सल्स इट इज आल्सो नोन एज फॉर्म्स तो अगर किसी टाइम क्वेश्चन आ जाए What is the idea? Uh, what is the theory of forms by Plato? क्या लिखना है? Theory of universal by Plato. Same. According to Plato, according to Plato, ideas or forms mean the essence. According to Plato, ideas or forms means the essence. What is an essence? what is an essence of a thing the main extract so like vanilla extract vanilla essence in put you three drops of vanilla essence and the whole cake becomes vanilla hai na you put five drops of pineapple the whole cake becomes pineapple so if you put few drops of idea the thing becomes That particular cowness डाली तो cow, horseness डाली तो horse. Okay. According to Plato, ideas and forms means the essence of the perceptual object. Perceptual, perceptual मतलब that which can be perceptual, perceived object. आप लोगों की English सुधार रही हूँ और कुछ नहीं है. perceived object or perceptual object full stop idea is understood as essential quality idea is understood as essential quality 
which is common to essential quality which is common to all particulars of a particular class to all particulars of a particular class example cow is a cow cow is a cow because because it has the essence of it has the essence of cowness which is an idea cowness which is an idea without a full stop without cowness without cowness no cow would be a cow without cowness no cow would be a cow when we are understanding idea don't just understand by physical structure supposedly this is a cow matlab samajh lo yaar ये टेल है मतलब समझ लो यही है काओ है ना इफ देर इज ओनली इफ देर इज नो वन लेग विल इट स्टिल बी अ काओ इफ आई रिमूव टू लेग्स स्टिल अ काओ इफ आई रिमूव अ टेल बाय एक्सीडेंट कट हो गई स्टिल अ काओ वन आई स्टिल अ काओ so this means it's not just about form matlab physical form it is something else of course we cannot easily understand it because it's we cannot see it through eyes we have to think about it through our reason and rationality ye baat ka confusion nahi karna hai theek hai na ah we are not saying that physical structure is not included in the idea but it is not just the physical structure it is not just the physical structure okay characteristics of ideas next heading characteristics of ideas direct question aata hai explain theory of ideas by plato itna hi khatam next kabhi kabhi question aata hai what are the characteristics of ideas explained by plato in his theory of ideas direct question na aage na piche seedha theek hai to agar hum ideas ke bare mein baat kare what we will do we will write one point and discuss we will write one point and discuss so that yahi pe yaad bhi ho jaye aur koi notes mein confusion bhi na rahe okay right ideas are substance ideas are substance that is in itself and for itself that is in itself and for itself which means which means ideas are independent ideas are independent and do not depend on ideas are independent and do not depend on anything else for its existence do not depend on anything else for its existence for any cow to exist it depends is is it the cow independent is the cow or the thing independent what does it depend on till the cowness is there can there be a cow bina cowness ke cow ho sakti hai kya there cannot be. so this means cow is not independent it is dependent on bas yahi hai iska pure phrase ka matlab but cowness is independent it doesn't depend on 
anything else for its existence. Example, when I say dinosaur, do you understand what I mean? How? Have you seen dinosaur? Touched? Smelled? And I won't say tasted. Hmm? Then how do you know dinosaur? When I said dinosaur, you got to know. Because according to Plato, not me, according to Plato, there is a thing known as dinosaur nest. That is independent. Dinosaur ho ya? There is dinosaur nest. Simple? Bat samaj mein aagya? Okay. This is a phrase in itself and for itself. Means when we have to define something as independent and not depending on anything else, we use it. Second point. Ideas are universals like cowness, animalness, tableness, etc. Ideas are universals like cowness, animalness, tableness, etc. Simple, universally present. Third, if anybody of you have ever any doubt, don't take it back home. Any doubt, ask. And I will explain it again. But don't keep your doubt because supposedly, supposedly, you keep a small doubt related to a term like universal. Then this term will come again. That doubt will persist and that doubt will persist. Ask, always ask. I will explain 10 times, don't worry. That's not the problem. But do any of you should not go back with doubts. Ideas and substance means, substance means what is this world made up of? Substance. And according to Plato, what is the substance? Reality is made up of? Substance. What according to Plato is reality? Ideas. So what according to Plato is substance? Ideas. Simple. What according to Plato is the world or the reality made up of? This world ko is this world ko wo bazaada bahau nahi deta. Plato. According to Plato, this world is only illusory. This world is only a copy. This world is only a shadow. This world is only a illusion. He doesn't give much importance to this world. According to him, the real world is the world of ideas. That is the real world he is concerned about always. We will see cave analogy and you will understand what he is talking about. It's a beautiful story. And you know, if possible, we will also watch a short clip about cave, cave analogy. Okay. Next. Third, ideas are unitary. Ideas are unitary with many manifestations. With many manifestations like idea of beauty. Like idea of beauty. Which is one. Idea of beauty which is one. But it may be copied or imitated by which may be copied or imitated. Imitation matla? To copy. Copied or imitated by many beautiful things. By many beautiful things. So beauty is one idea which can be copied by beautiful painting. Beautiful lady, beautiful chair, beautiful scenery, anything which is beautiful will also have within itself the idea of beauty. It will have the expression of beauty or that thing will participate in the idea of beauty. This means anything which is beautiful must have the idea of beauty. 
if there is something which is not having the idea of beauty or which, which is not participating in the idea of beauty, it will not be. Because beauty as an idea lives in transcendental world and things which are beautiful are where? In this, in this, this world, world of experience. Idea is one, but how many beautiful things can there be? Infinite things can be beautiful. The idea is unitary, but it can be copied or manifested by many. If you are having any doubts, you are correct. Because those ideas will, your uh, doubts will be taken care of by Aristotle. मतलब क्या सारी जितनी beautiful चीजें सब उस idea में participate कर रही हैं तो कैसे अगर कोई चीज beautiful भी है और red भी है और white भी है तो क्या वो सब में participate all your doubts correct taken care of by Aristotle wait for Aristotle till these doubts get addressed okay next fourth ideas are one unique and indivisible ideas are one unique and indivisible next ideas are immutable ideas are immutable comma non composite immutable comma non composite comma pure and simple pure and simple all of these are just english words to be used in your answers what does it mean all ideas are unique of course when there is only one idea of beauty it is unique it is indivisible can you divide the idea of beauty can you divide the idea of cowness half cow half cow ho sakti half cowness nahi ho sakti you cannot divide the idea okay then it is immutable does the idea change over time? No. It remains the same according to Plato. Then it is non-composite. Do we include two, three ideas and make one idea? No. It is non-composite. Then it is pure. Pure to transcendental world mein. Pure ho gai. And it is simple. Can we also write perfect? Can we also write eternal? But likhna nahi hai. likhwa dungi points sare. Lekin if you have understood the concept you can use n number of synonyms terms and things to describe it now it is your writing skills that will matter and if you learn these supposedly you start writing the question is what are ideas according to plato you start writing all of these points ideas are substances according to the plato which are one, indivisible, unitary, pure, non-composite. Kitna bhari lag raha answer ekdam. Na? Rather than just saying ideas are universals according to Plato. But if we write three, four words, then your answer becomes more marks. Simple. Next. Ideas are non-sensible or super-sensible. Ideas are non-sensible or super sensible. Which means, which means they are not the object of sense perception. Which means they are not the object of sense perception. They are not the object of sense perceptions. But can only be known through, but can only be known through reason alone but can only be known through reason alone. Full stop. This means they can only be thought of. This means they can only be thought of. Understood? Any doubt? Anybody having doubt in this point? Ideas are non-sensible or super-sensible. Non-sensible means we cannot sense. Super sensible means they are beyond our 
senses. We cannot know them through sensations or perceptions. We can only know them through reason. We can only think about them. There is no other way to know them directly. Next point. Ideas are perfect and things are imperfect. Ideas are absolute. Individuals are non-absolute. Ideas are invariable and constant. Ideas are invariable and constant. Things will be variable and changing. Ideas are immutable and imperishable. Things will be mutable and perishable. Ideas are next point. Ideas are eternal. Ideas are eternal. Example. Even when, even when beauty, beautiful things, even when beautiful things pass away, beautiful things pass away, the idea of beauty, the idea of beauty neither ends nor perishes. The idea of beauty neither ends nor perishes. Perishes matlab khatam nahi hota. Beautiful things khatam ho bhi jayen, to idea of beauty khatam nahi. Dinosaur khatam ho bhi gaye, to bhi idea of dinosaur khatam nahi hua. Next. Ideas are beyond space and time. Ideas are beyond space and time. Full stop. Plato has provided objective reality to ideas. Plato has provided objective reality to ideas. According to him, ideas exist in their, according to him, ideas exist in their own transcendental world. In their own transcendental world. And this world can only be known through reason. And this world can only be known through reason. Full stop. Experience can only provide, experience can only provide stimulus. Experience can only provide stimulus and occasion, stimulus and occasion to recollect or remember, to recollect or remember the idea, to recollect or remember the idea. So, ideas kya se Beyond space and time and where is this world it has objective reality hai ye dunia lekin hum isko we cannot sense it we can only know it through reason we can only know it through reason and uh, or uh, last point hum logo ne kya likha hai it experience can only provide Stimulus and occasion to know or recollect the ideas. So, this table, when you see, you just recollect. This is only a stimulus for you, but you recollect what? Tableness. When you see a man, you immediately identify man, manness, because it's just the recollection that is happening. So, this is the world, this world, this table, this is a stimulus. Hai. Is it real knowledge? No. Because this knowledge is changeable. The real knowledge is according to Plato is constant. That is ideas. Okay. Next point. 
ideas are superior to things ideas are superior to things in both degree of reality in both degree of reality as well as value in degree of reality as well as value because things are merely copies because things are merely copies oblique shadows oblique part participants shadows oblique participants oblique reflections oblique expressions of ideas oblique matlab aise oblique mat likh lena aise 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 hi kare na hai aise hi kare na किसी ने ऑब्लिक तो नहीं लिख लिया ऐसा नहीं करना ऑब्लिक मतलब यू कैन यूज आइदर ऑफ द वर्ड आइदर ऑफ द वर्ड सपोजिटली क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द कॉपी थ्योरी ऑफ प्लेटो देन यू विल यूज द वर्ड कॉपी इफ द क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्रेशन थ्योरी देन एक्सप्रेशन पार्टिसिपेशन थ्योरी देन same thing only set into three different ways it is nothing separate same thing only you can use different expressions to put your answers so agar directly question aayega seedha question hai agar explain theory of ideas to kya likhoge स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन कहां से आएगा प्लेटो का जो इंट्रोडक्शन है वी कैन सिंपली स्टार्ट विद प्लेटो टीचर वॉज एंड स्टूडेंट वॉज एरिस्टॉटल हू रिकनसाइल्ड द थ्योरीज ऑफ हिराक्लेटस एंड फार्मी कैसे भी कर सकते हैं मतलब ये बहुत ही एक एक सिंपल एग्जांपल मैंने आपको दिया देन थ्योरी ऑफ आइडियाज अकॉर्डिंग टू प्लेटो आइडियाज आर वन टू थ्री देन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस टू वर्ल्ड थ्योरी यू विल मेंशन दो दो दुनिया में बांटा ना उसने और फिर हम क्रिटिसाइज भी कर देंगे अभी बताऊंगी मैं हम लिखवाएंगे पूरा आंसर लेकिन समझ में आ रहा है फ्लो कैसे बनेगा वेयर दीज पॉइंट्स विल बी यूजेबल डायरेक्टली क्वेश्चन आता है लेफ्ट राइट नहीं आता एक्सप्लेन दी थ्योरी ऑफ आइडियाज और व्हाट आर आइडियाज अकॉर्डिंग टू प्लेटो वी हैव टू राइट दीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इट ओके शैल वी कंटिन्यू half of you like ek kisi ki aur koi class to nahi hai hai kaun si oh it kitna gs padhte ho aur uske baad bhi answer to ek nahi de pate ho matlab why matlab i think you people give so much time to gs and somehow still whenever i ask anything i only see empty blank faces what are, what 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 are you reading nowadays in gs ha huh? governance economics what are sin goods ha huh? money and banking what are schedule bank मैक्रोइकोनॉमिक्स हु वॉज एडम स्मिथ ओके ओके 
What, what is Keynesian economics? Keynesian economics is very much part of the syllabus. Yes, government should intervene and spend more to promote development. I am happy at least one person has read and can answer in my class. I want all of you also to be prepared. So, when you read GA, you should be able to answer. We have to balance everything, philosophy, GA, current affairs. Of course, GS ke andari aga sees that. No, no, we have to balance everything because if we study only GS, no selection. Only philosophy, no. Only current affairs, we have to read all the three and perform good in all the three. Of course, ethics essay and optional are your mainstay. But still, whatever you are reading in GS, keep a balance. And please answer. Read and attempt your answers. Do MCQs. I don't want you people to excel in philosophy and then don't give me selection because you could not read. Balance. What will you do? How will you do that? Dividing your day in three slots minimum or four slots. One slot for optional, one for static, one for current affairs plus MCQs and answer it. Okay? Okay. Hmm. That's, that's, that's inductive logic. Absolutely. 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 That's the criticism of Plato. You know, you cannot uh, just create a world on the basis of ideas. And you know, we will criticize Plato. Don't worry. Plato will become like them shred, shred. Online students, online students, I think there was some hiccup in the starting of the class. Uh, there was some technical glitch. Last line, can you explain ma'am? Which one? Which last line? Please tell me. Anybody writing? Aja, ideas are superior than things in the context of reality. Which is more real, idea or thing? Idea, which is more valuable for Plato, idea or things? So, of course, he is placing so much importance to, so much importance and value to world of ideas. He is keeping Reality kya hai? World of ideas. Real kya hai? Ideas. Things kya hai? Only copies. And shadows. Only expressions. Ideas kya hai? Sunlight. Things kya hai? Moonlight. Only the reflection. So, according to Plato, real thing is actually idea. Which is getting reflected as a thing. And we are just looking at things and becoming happy. We are not even thinking about the actual idea behind it. Tomorrow, when we will do cave analogy, everything will become crystal clear. He has given a lovely analogy. And what is analogy? Story. And through that story, he has made his theory of ideas absolutely clear. What exactly is the world of ideas? What exactly is the world of things? How do we know about it? We will become 
एब्सोल्युटली क्लियर टुमारो केव एनालॉजी वैसे तो कोई डाउट नहीं है लेकिन अगर होगा भी तो कैसे रिजॉल्व हो जाएगा केव एनालॉजी से ओके टुमारो